up guys, Alex here, and welcome to a little vlog, a little uh, Q&A sort of here with... Heroes Never Die! Lucy Paul. Uh, <laughs> and then you can actually find, uh, do you have like a Twitter, Instagram, do you want to I promote do. yourself here? It's uh, at Lucy Pohl Comedy on Twitter, and it's L-U-C-I-E-P-O-H-L Comedy. And on Instagram, it's you love Lucy, the letter U love L-U-C-I-E. Perfect. So I'll link those in the description down below, but uh, I'm here at MomoCon, so it's been a really, really wonderful time. Yeah. And I just wanted to ask you some questions, because a lot of my fans, you know, I have 150,000 subscribers, they all play Overwatch. Hi. <laughs> and then they're like, oh my god, I should talk to the voice actor, so I have a couple questions. Totally. So, Very um, excited. So, number one is like, what was your your reaction to like Overwatch being like this big of a game? Because it's got like over, like how many, mil like millions of sales. Like, yeah. Well, I think it's awesome. I think we all do. All the voice actors that are on it are very excited. Yeah. It's just so cool to be part of such a um, such a cool community of people that right. love the game yeah. and, and exactly. love all these different characters and the fact that there are so many different characters on this oh, game yeah. that you know are from different places and different kind of um, sexual orientations yeah, and course. all that yeah. stuff. Everyone. Like it's so cool. There's so much diversity mm -hmm. on this game and. And I think that's what we're all about, exactly, you know? So exactly. it's really exciting. And the bigger it got, the more we were just proud, I think, all of us oh, to be of part course. of it. Oh, of course. Yeah, exactly. Because I know you, you said you, you were doing your, uh, like your panel, you were like, you feel like you're part of Mercy. You're like part yeah, of absolutely. that creation. So one thing I want to ask you is, what do you think of the fan base? Like anything surprising, anything like, you know, unexpected from like the fan base? Because I know, you sort of started to get involved with like the fan base on Twitter and with the videos with um, mm -hmm. Carolina. Car Carolina. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, I was super surprised that, that um, the fan base was so dedicated and so um, that, that they were so into it in such a big way beyond just playing. That yeah. they, were, they were into the voices and into the right. people behind the voices and that they really were into connecting and that really surprised me. I didn't yeah. realize that, you know, I thought that they were into the game, but I didn't realize that it was um, more than just playing right. the game. Just playing the, the game, exactly. So that really surprised me and, and it was really exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you ever experience anything like that out of like Overwatch? Like with I know you've been there on so many shows and stuff. Um, I experienced it a bit with Red Dwarf mm -hmm. because it's a big cult uh, show in, right. in the UK at least, so yeah. I, I've gotten a sim similar reactions from okay. Red Dwarf fans, but but Overwatch is definitely the biggest. The community. biggest community yeah, one. Okay, sure. yeah, that's the first I heard of Red Dwarf being in the US. I'm just like, I should yeah, probably look that up. <laughs> yeah, it's a great show. It's it's a big cult hit in the UK, but it didn't okay. really make it over here. But you guys yeah. should check it out. All it's right, great. so. When you met um, Carolina mm -hmm. for like those real life videos, like those really funny ones, did you expect them to like kind of viral in a, in a sense? Because I mean, no. they were on Reddit, they had <laughs> like hundreds of thousands of views. I know, I think ours has like 630,000 yeah, views like, on Yeah, cr that's crazy. Yeah, so, yeah. Did you expect crazy. that at all? No, or, not, no at all. not at all. And we were kind of like making the videos and she was like, oh, do you want to make one too? Just yeah. like for your YouTube channel. And I was like, oh no, that's fine. You know, because I was like, oh, you know, who's going to watch this? Anyway? <laughs> right, but right. It's been amazing and it's so yeah. fun to make those. We, we love it. It's yeah. really, really Do you fun. have a YouTube channel at all? Um, I had one and now I'm going through kind of like a transition because yeah. I'm putting up some new stuff so there's a new one coming. That okay, I'll, perfect. Um, That's that actually I'll one of my out. questions. So yeah. I was going to say, do you think you would do something sort of similar to Carolina where you post like really funny kind of skits, I guess? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm working on it because I have a lot of comedy stuff mm -hmm. so I just want to kind of streamline it into perfect. one Okay. One do you do a lot of it. comedy shows? Or? I do. Okay. Yeah, I do a lot of live shows. I do a lot of touring. I've written three one-hour comedy oh, wow. shows, yeah, that's awesome. and I've toured them kind of all over the world. Not in Asia, but um, like a lot, lots of different places Mostly in the Europe US and the US, Europe. UK. Okay. So yeah, I do a lot of live shows. Right. Okay. And then uh, just a quick question for you know the easy ones, like favorite skin, the voice line for Mercy. My favorite skin is definitely the witch skin. Okay. Definitely, I love it. Um, my favorite voice line is Heroes Never Die. Heroes Never Heroes Die. Never die. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's such, it's a, such a simple. Really, really hit hard. Yeah, if you want. and it's true. Um, and then, what is one character you wish you could voice instead of Mercy? So. Yeah, I said this earlier. I think it would be Farah. I love that. Right. Justice reigns from above. I love that she's like so. Yeah, so like. 
vocal. She yeah. has like a lot of She's oomph. like badass. So like, exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. I really like her. So what is it like working for Blizzard? Because I know that's like Blizzard's such a humongous corporation. Like, you know, working with them, like people will always want to work with them. So is it is it like what you expected, something different, or could there be anything better? Oh no. I no. honestly don't think that there could be anything better. Um, and my experience actually hasn't been like that. It's this huge company. Oh, really? It's okay. been a really personal experience with mm. the directors, with the writers. Right. So I've been really lucky that I've gotten to work with, you know, specific people yeah. and that's made it feel really intimate. So and I think that's kind of the secret to any great company when they're big is right. to keep it personal and intimate. Um, yeah on the projects that you're working on. So yeah. I think they do a really great job That's awesome. on that. Yeah. Perfect. I know, do you know like any people out of like Michael Chu from mm -hmm. the Blizzard, like Jeff Kaplan, do you get it? No, you know I've met those? Michael mm -hmm. um, and then with uh, Andrea and Jeff, we've, um, you know, we've been in touch, but through okay. email, okay. but we haven't met yeah. in person. I know, because I, I, I know someone said to look up the Dino Fest thing in yeah. the panel. Yeah, so Jeff Kaplan's like the, the uh, main person for Overwatch where you know these people sort of connect with him the most because right. he's always doing these like do game director, game developer updates, but yeah. uh, it's really cool. Um, so I know you do comedy, is there like a most embarrassing moment while doing your comedy show? Or most really? embarrassing? Well yeah, I did have an embarrassing moment. I wrote um, a big bit about a breakup between okay. me and an ex-boyfriend mm -hmm. and I had no idea that he was coming to see the show oh, and it no was way. like really explicit and really like detailed oh. and um, it was like stuff that I didn't want him to know yeah. and I had said to him oh if you want to come see the show let me know and I was thinking if he comes then, yeah. I'll, then I'll tell him it's kind of about him yeah, but yeah. until then it's fine and I walked out on stage and I started and I kind of scanned the crowd and I went oh I don't know those people I don't know oh there's my friend Maria and then, and then I saw him, him and I was, oh my god, my heart stopped. Oh, so, that's yeah, the worst. That was really bad. Oh man, did he like react at all or was he just like, oh, that was funny? He was pissed. Oh. <laughs> he was pissed, Oh, yeah. that's not good. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, oh well. Oh well. But I, I know you talked about how you love like David Hasselhoff and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So is there a moment <laughs> where you felt like most starstruck meeting someone, like an actor or, you know, anything like that? Uh, I felt really starstruck when... I met John Cleese, okay. who's um, Monty Python. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Um, and when I met him, I was really, really starstruck okay. just because he's like my favorite person on earth. That's awesome. Okay, yeah. perfect. So, okay, so my fan base are asking me, do you know what memes are? Do you know what those are? Of course are? I know what memes you know, are. What I'm, not, I'm not that old. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just, not I know thousands some people, of years old. Some people like who Mercy. don't know, like, uh, <laughs> who aren't, like, involved with the internet. Like, what yeah. is your favorite one? Or, like, oh. something that's, like, made you laugh a lot. Oh, my God. But they all make you laugh. I get it. Well, too, no. I mean, some of them, not, not, not all the time. Um, Like, an Overwatch one, you mean? Or just, like, in general? I mean, just in general. Oh, um, I got one the other day from like the thriller video of mm -hmm. the girl being like, <gasps> like that moment, yeah. but like in connection with um, an Instagram post oh, okay. by like a friend. That yeah. made me laugh. I don't know. There's so many that. Yeah, I know. Like in Overwatch, like the general ones are like, you know, Mercy, he like who's she can't heal or something like that. You yeah. see those all the time. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. People send me those all the time. Oh, all the time. I love it. Please keep sending them to me. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything you would want to tell, you know, these fans about like what you do like, out of, you know, voice acting? Well, if you guys are in New York, I'm doing my show for three weeks in July off Broadway at a beautiful theater called The Cherry Lane. So come check it out. Awesome. Yeah. And I think that is pretty much it. I don't know. I'm trying to think of any other <laughs> questions, but I can't really think of any. Cool. Uh, what do you think about MomoCon, I guess? That's an easy one. It's been great, yeah. I've only been here one day, but people have been awesome. I love meeting fans. I love it. It's like my favorite thing right. about the whole job and seeing people cosplay and all that. So I'm looking forward okay. to the rest That's of it. Awesome. It's been great. Okay, love well, it. thank you so much thank for you being so much. part of so my little interview. Um, <laughs> so you can check her out all in the, the, just, the links are in the description down below. So obviously make sure to check her out, check out her show in New York City. Yep. I know she'd appreciate it. Also tell her, tell her that I sent you there. Exactly. <laughs> and remember, heroes never die for a price. Oh. Well, there you go. But thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye.